Jay with Jay's Doors and Trim out of Castle Rock, Washington. Today I'm gonna be pre-hanging this door. It's a 32 inch slab. It actually measures 32 and 1 16th inches. The edge isn't uh, beveled yet. Hinge side isn't mortised and prepped yet. So I'll be doing all that work myself. I got my four and nine sixteenths exterior door jam. Mortise the hinges, the uh, adjustable threshold on there, get the door prepped and make my own pre-hang. The reason this pre-hang has to be custom made is because of this rough opening. So I have a laser and another laser. When I look at doors, I don't just kind of measure the door and say, yep, 32 inches, and then go to buy a standard 32 inch door and hope for the best. What you gotta do is you gotta set up this laser and this laser and shoot, find, find what's plumb. So I got this laser touching right there. A plumb line goes all the way up and you can see it was touching the drywall. Now it's way over here. So this wall, this, um, the stud's not plumb. So I made some pencil marks. And I got those pencil marks. You can see that this laser touches the drywall and the, the stud. And then it dives way over. A plumb line dives over. So that means this stud is leaning this way. So what that means is this old door that's hard to use, it's twisted, you know, it was forced into that opening and they kind of made it work and it's lasted this long, but now it's just, it's seizing up and the door is tired. It's ready to be replaced. So rather than going out and buying a standard 36, 32 inch pre-hung uh, door for this garage, I'm gonna make my own. And the reason is, is so I measure, I'll get my sheet for the math. So this is my math. If you wanted to look at this and kind of figure out what was going on, you can pause the video and take a look. But up top, my plumb line, my laser and my laser measures 33 and an eighth. Okay. So that is my rough opening. The, the real rough opening that used to be there measures, it's like, a little over 34 inches so it seems like with 34 inches that's two inches over a 32 inch door so a standard 32 inch door should fit but if you take a standard 32 inch door and try to put it inside here it's not going to fit in plumb and you're going to it's going to sit twisted so if you try to fit that standard door in this opening that's twisted the door, it's its not gonna be, it's not gonna work. Guaranteed, it just, it won't work. So just because I have 34 inches doesn't mean my plumb line is 34 inches. My plumb line is 33 and an eighth, okay? Then I gotta subtract an inch and a half, three quarters and three quarters for the door jam on the sides. That's an inch and a half. That brings us to 31 and five eighths. So I'm gonna cut my header at 31 and 5 eighths, minus a quarter inch. Eighth inch gap, eighth inch gap equals a quarter inch. So from the slab door, I gotta take off a quarter inch. That makes my slab 31 and 3 eighths wide. So that's um, not 32 inch slab anymore. It's 31 and 3 eighths. And I gotta bevel the strike side because it's got a wood edge. So, the difference at a 32 and 16th of this equals 11 16th difference. I'm gonna rip a little bit off each side of the door, the left and the right. So I divide that by two. I know I need to take off 3 8 minus a little bit less than 3 8 on each side. So I'll come over to my door and I'll put my track saw on here, 3 8 minus and rip that down this side, as well as this side. That'll be a square cut. I'll leave my hinge side square, 
I'll primer it, mortise the hinges, and then the, the, the strike side, I'm gonna do a two degree bevel. That way when the door swings shut and with the expansion and contraction, it won't bind on the door jam. I gotta cut my door height down because from header to the floor inside of the house, uh, you know, that equation matters too. That's pretty common for a door height to be modified, but um, it's less common for the width to be modified. So otherwise I gotta cut my height down. Inside of the house, I have from the top of the door jam to the floor, 80 and a half. Top of the door jam header, the, the door jam header is three quarters inch, eighth inch gap. I need a half inch gap for my sweep. I want a half inch gap from the top of the threshold to the sub to the finished floor. So that boom, boom, boom gives me 78 and 5 8 inch tall slab. This threshold is one and three eighths. That remains, I'll have seven eighths down here and there's gonna be a little bit of room to fill under that old threshold. One three eighths, do to do. That's how I came up with the seven eighths. So that's my height. I figured out my width, my door jam. We're good to go. So we're ready to start building this pre-hang. But every time I go look at a door job for replacement or repair, this is the first thing I do is I shoot lasers at the wall by the door. And typically when I show that to customers, the kind of the wow factor comes into play like, oh, <laughs> I didn't realize that. You know, so that's this is the ticket. You can kind of see the green line there and the red line there. It's it's just it's off. So custom door right here.